But do we have any decisions once we've met? So we've got lovely sandy beaches, mangroves, and that's our area of concern. But it shouldn't be only that area of concern, it should be even further afield. What happens in Sumatra is just as important as what happens in the Philippines. My historical aspect of my paper is derived from some documents like this. I apologize that you cannot see too clearly. It's the quality of the paper. But hey, it's 1878 or 1833. Mm. These documents are very important for research. And I would suggest to Hans that if he's looking for uh, research material for his students, send them to these documents and write about some of this historical aspect of life. Okay? Uh, I've moved, moved that in the sound student slide, a uh, picture of this. Uh, in some of the slides I show you now of the islands and the reefs in the Spratly group, uh, those were taken, those were derived from the hydrographic office in London. And there's a very good book out uh, published by MEMA. Uh, not uh, selling me at this moment. It is called The Secret, Secret Surveys of the Spratly Archipelago, written by Victor Prescott. A very thorough piece of work showing you the historical aspects of the surveys. Uh, these islands that I highlight here are shown in the next few slides. But before going to that, you see back in 1878, there was already documentation about these islands and groups, okay? Fairly detailed, not absolutely accurate, but good enough for the work here. Yeah. Okay. And I featured Borneo of this part of the world, just to show you what, what there was. Uh, and Borneo K, which we'll talk show you in a minute. Swallow Reef, okay, we had all the details. We had the surveyors who did the work. Honorable gentlemen, I would say, in those days. I don't know if we can find honorable gentlemen these days. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bombay Shore. Yeah. Quite elaborate information about each of these features. Today, you look at the similar publication and it says one shore, latitude, longitude, nothing else. Very basic. So yeah, from the historical point of view, good research material to follow up on. And I certainly hope some of you will pick this up and use it. Uh, I won't elaborate on each one of these. Louisa Shaw, lovely little diagrams, little sketches, but full of information if you sit and look through it. And here it said that China, this China Sea is perhaps the locality where hydrography is most used mostly extensively used. I apologize for the quality of the, the slide. Again, Ambonia K, surveyed by Commander Ward, and so on, what it does, what it doesn't do. And to give you an idea from that last slide, we had a very thorough explanation of each of these features. The more modern version just gives us this very brief thing. No details. And Borneo K, what it does do that is give us the names by the different countries to the one feature. And this is now a problem. We're talking about one feature, four names, some variation in the names, okay, and transliteration, and of course, what they are about. Now the law of the sea says, is it an island? Is it a rock? Is it a cave? And the legal experts don't know, because they haven't employed the geographers to tell them what to do. OK? There's a job for me, I'm sure. Commodore Reef, the same. OK, pretty detailed, surrounded by two lagoons, tops of the reef above water. OK, very detailed work. Yeah. That's the Malaysian one, isn't it? <laughs> okay. And that's the Malaysian one. Yeah. And 
Chinese, and Vietnam, you know, all of you. With Brunei, <laughs> Brunei is not it. Okay, there's a, uh, a better sketch of Commodore Reed, a better map, I would say, a better chart. And you can see over here it had uh, classified documents, secret documents. Okay, for a long time they weren't in the hands of anybody except those that produced it. The British had secret documents, the Japanese had secret documents, the Americans had secret documents. Even as late as two months ago, I wrote to the Americans and said, could I have these old charts? And they said, no, it's classified documents. Okay. Hey, classified since 1937. <laughs> I can go to a satellite and I can get the information. Okay. But you can see the problems we have. I asked China, I said, can I have a look at some of the charts? No, it's classified document. But my ship is coming into Chinese ports tomorrow. No, it's classified document. <laughs> so where do you go to get all this information? There's no harm in seeing China, okay? These are facts of life. <laughs> For a researcher, this is a big issue. We cannot write correctly if we don't have this information to hand. So I hope you help me. Uh, here's another one. Uh, a map, 1886. Follow me. Okay. That's it today. Slightly modified. Slightly, I said. Yeah, I have to be careful. Slightly modified. Uh, and there's the descriptions. Here's another one of Swallow Reef. Now taken from the satellite. So I know exactly the size if I can sit down and measure it properly. Okay. Uh, that's an old sketch. Back on those early years. So nothing can do this. I say that some of these features are being refashioned mm -hmm. for the sake of territorial gain. I was told not to mention territory or territoriality, but I have to show you this. Okay. <laughs> these islands, rocks, reefs are now being fortified <coughs> for the purposes of putting up. Uh, weather observation satellites, <laughs> radars, or whatever it is. Some look too fortified to say that they're just uh, weather, weather stations. I'm just